Congratulations, Genome Tracker, on your 10th anniversary. What a milestone achievement. The Genome Tracker Network has made significant contributions over the last decade to protect public health and safety of the food supply globally. The Genome Tracker Network has harnessed the power of whole genome sequencing, helping solve outbreaks and removing contaminated product from food supply before people become ill. For our public health laboratories, participation in the network has helped build whole genome sequencing capabilities and capacities. APHL greatly values our close partnership with the FDA CIFSAN and the Genome Tracker team. And we look forward to celebrating with you again in another 10 years. Congratulations. Greetings from New Mexico, chili capital of the world. Where the official say question is red. Or green. Congratulations to the Genome Tracking Network for these 10 years of supporting public health. Being part of the Genome Tracking Network has enabled us to better serve the FDA's public health mission and the New Mexico food industry. In New Mexico, we monitor the behavior of pathogenic bacteria in New Mexico foods and food processing facilities. Again, congratulations. congratulations. Hi, this is Megan from the UC Davis NARM site, and we want to say congratulations, Genome Tracker, for 10 years. Well, Mark, Eric, Ruth, and Errol, I can't believe it's been 10 years, but it has. As you can see from the data at the bottom of the dendrogram, that's the day Kim and I flew down to CIFSA and presented some of our early whole genome sequencing data. At that meeting, you asked if we might want to join Genome Tracker. We said yes. And you also asked if we might like a MySeq. We said we thought that was a good idea. In this picture are some of the staff you've supported over the years, as well as some of the equipment in the background. Here's to another 10 years, and I hope another 10 years after that. Cheers. From Mexico's National Service of Our Elementary Health, Safety and Quality, SEMASICA, recognizes the commitment and effort of Genome Tracker during these 10 years. Since 2018, Mexican-American collaboration has enriched us with the advice of experts in whole genome sequencing for the continuous updating of methodologies by informatic analysis and implementation of tools such as Galaxy Tracker and Pathogen Detection essentials in outbreak investigation. That's why on this 10th anniversary, we join to the celebration and say, Congratulations! Congratulations on 10 years of the Genome Tracker program. Participation in Genome Tracker has allowed our New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets Food Laboratory to acquire whole genome sequencing technology that helps us protect the health of New Yorkers every day. From analysis of foodborne pathogen isolates in support of our regulatory food surveillance programs to international collaborations that have resulted in peer-reviewed publications, Genome Tracker has strengthened our ability to connect potential food contamination with foodborne illness. We are looking forward to the next 10 years. the Genome Tracker kickoff meeting. We've got Eric Brown and Ruth Timmy from FDA. Want to tell us a little bit about the goals of this project? Oh, sure. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Genome Tracker is a project that uh, we started out of FDA. Uh, now that we've brought whole genome sequencing to a level where uh, we're ready to do real proof of concepts in a networked environment to show how data for whole genome sequencing can flow out of public health laboratories, uh, can be centralized in, a, in an open source database and can be used to really give inference for investigations uh, for both FDA's needs, our other federal partners, and for states' needs too. So we're very excited. We're happy to have this kickoff meeting. 
Um, we're happy to have six states involved right now, and uh, we're only looking forward to it to grow. So I think we're reaching a new paradigm shift in molecular epi, and um, we're just honored to be part of it. Do you think this technology will change the way we do things now in terms of PulseNet and PFGE? Is it, is, what does what is whole genome sequencing give us that PFGE doesn't? What do you think, Ruth? Want to take that one? Yeah, I think PFGE gives a, a very coarse resolution on variation in the environment, and whole genome sequencing gives us like several orders of magnitude more resolution. PFGE brought us a long way. I mean, it's been a staple for obviously for almost two decades. Um, and I think the technology is now, and omic technology is now at a place where we can have uh, even more insight about investigations and inferences that we never might have had before, including, as, as our colleagues from the CDC pointed out, um, additional hypotheses about the sources of outbreaks, the inclusion of clusters or well-defined clusters. So uh, I think um, it's going to usher in a brave new day for us for all investigations. Definitely. Are there Hi, Joanne Barkas from Minnesota. You're one of the new laboratories in the Genome Tracker Network to do whole genome sequence typing on foodborne pathogens. How is this uh, going to change what you do as a public health laboratory? Well, it's, it's not clear exactly how you know, it's going to change what we do. Obviously, we're going to need to learn new technology. We're going to need to develop new analytical tools. We're going to have to work very closely with our partners to try to figure out what this um, information means and how to analyze it um, in the context of our epidemiological information and, and the, the way we used to do things with um, pulse field gel electrophoresis and with PulseNet. So I think there's a lot of challenges, but I think there's a lot of uh, tremendous opportunities um, to form a network of laboratories. I think that's going to be critical for state laboratories to pool their resources um, and uh, compare uh, their results and, and their procedures and uh, work on developing a brand new network that's going to continue to not only um, achieve what we've achieved in the past but to improve upon that and get even better, faster results. All right. I think it'll be a huge step forward for outbreak investigations. I think it, the, the level of the resolution we'll have to be able to distinguish uh, separate entities um, and smaller number of, of cases uh, for each outbreak, I think it's going to be uh, have a huge impact on that.